are very few events with as many hallowed traditions as graduation ceremonies. Traditions that are looking pretty different this year thanks to, you know, a global pandemic. But today we're going to forget about our current struggles, pretend everything is normal, and dive into some of the things we do every year at graduation, find out when they started and why they started. By the way, shout outs to NPR and Columbia University for their research on this that was super helpful. So let's start with this song. You might know it's called Pomp and Circumstance, but did you know it's actually part of a larger piece called Pomp and Circumstance in D Major? It was composed by this guy, Sir Edward Elgar. He wrote it in 1901, but it actually wasn't initially for graduations. It was composed for the coronation of this guy, King Edward VII. And the title comes from yet one more guy, William Shakespeare. There's a line in Othello that says, pride, pomp, and circumstance of glorious war. So we now know that it was composed for when Edward VII became king, but it made the jump to graduations in 1905. See, Sir Edward Elgar was recognized for his work by getting an honorary doctorate from Yale. And as he was walking away, they played his very own Pomp and Circumstance. All right, now let's look at what graduates wear and where those traditions come from. Gowns go all the way back to the 12th century when the first universities were founded. See, the first professors were members of the clergy and their students ended up wearing the same thing that they were wearing. This set the students apart from the other people in the town. It also probably kept them warm since the buildings back then weren't heated. The graduation hat, which we call mortarboard, probably comes from the same source. Catholic clerics and scholars wore hats called berettas as early as the 15th century, and they began to be seen as a sign of success, study, and intelligence. Up to the Civil War, students at Columbia wore them every day as a uniform. But today, they're special wear for graduations, even though they still have the same symbol, which is success and intelligence. 